Hello and welcome. We are the Fursmans and we are off to Modesto for the Beat'em by a Hair Mustache and Beard competition. Uh, who's that in the back seat? Hey, it's Lando. So I'm not going to waste any time. Let's get on the road. The big thermometer. Take a picture of the big thermometer. Where's the big thermometer? It's right there. It's that heating and repairs place. The that thing there? Yes, sir. Yes. That was that it? Thing. Yes, I love the big thermometer. Shut that up. That was it? Yes. <laughs> Every time we see it, we have a cold. <laughs> I'm taking video, you know that. Oh. Video. <laughs> so we are like in Modesto for the beard and mustache competition. Things are a little different here. You didn't see it, but I styled. Beat him by a hand. Beaten by a hair, Modesto at the other place. We're on our way now. Good luck. You know, it doesn't make a difference. Like I keep telling people, it's not the outfit. Every time when you judge, it's not the outfit. Why is that you're gonna give everybody that kind of little, maybe that person doesn't have money to buy an outfit. Maybe you could just, you come and you can grow some good facial hair. So, hey, the whole thing is why we come to this thing is because of facial hairs, not your outfit. So my wife and I actually went out and she helped me find something some costume That's but I think it's it's cool that you you know it's that you don't have to do that all the time but it's cool to get dressed up you know what I mean because yeah. most people we have jobs where we just we wear regular outfits man like we're not gonna do anything different but hey this might be something for me where I can wear something that's gonna be completely out of the ordinary mm. you know I mean what are you gonna do it's you know, you're judging uh, for a beard, you're in, or a whiskerina, you're, I mean, that's what you're judging for. You just gotta roll with the punches and see how well you do that night. The best thing is to have a really, really good time while you're there. And that's a Landon's attitude. Plus, you get to meet a lot of good new people, which is awesome. Hey. So we're in Modesto. What's up? We are at... The other place. The other place, back... There. You don't have any either. For the Beaten by Hair Beard, beard Competition. I'll get you some. Come? And she's got. Did no, Chad bring any of these? Her little beard going right on now. there. Okay, he's got. You'll see a sneak peek of that later. Are we heading in? Heading in. Yeah. Come on. Competition time. What do you think? Is this too much? A little bit of a style here? Hey. Don't need that for the peanut gallery. I don't need your lip. He's, he's sick. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> Why did you get all official? Come on. You're sitting in eight brother. He's, that he's, <laughs> he's never heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> Landon, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm going against you. So hey, it's okay. Hey, we're good. This is why. This is why we do this. So it's cool. So it's all right. Hello, love. Did we? Hello. Did you pay ahead? Yeah. I did. I did some yes. tickets. Awesome. Oh, okay. I can, I can dig it. Thank you so much. I can dig it. Yeah. It'll be a nice whaler. Who wants to be 28? Who wants to be 29? You're the only one signed up for Whiskerina so far. <gasps> Seriously? Like it. The only one? Whiskerina Solo. Whiskerina Solo. Yeah, how's it going? Rockin' the whaler. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Rockin' it hard. Okay. Whaler. whaler. Let's see if I can attempt the lanyard with this. No. Mm. You fail every time. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, oh, uh, yep, yep, uh, yep. Uh, Emergency. Emergency. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Now, now the other. No, man. <laughs> That's attractive. And uh. by George, I think he's got it. <laughs> Pro. Right, almost. Almost. Hello. Almost here. Here we go. Ah. Insect is. Yeah. On top of the beard. Okay. This is a problem. So I like the facial hair leaves, uh, like real attach detachable ones. Yeah, that's true. There we go. I'm like, could I attach that to like? There we go. Let's just put it row. Really over there. There we go. I'm only See. A lot of beautiful women with beards. So we're gonna have a good time tonight, aren't we? Like 12 hours. 12 hours just for a beard competition. Yeah! Bump is in our group. The Modesto Beard Mustache Coalition. Pretty amazing, if I can say. How long have you been growing your beard? 
about ten years. Seven years. That's a long time. Why don't we go with number three, Sean Rayner? So, uh, uh, Sean's, uh, what, number number one in the world for Fu Manchu? Is that, is that right? Yeah. Number, yeah. One, number one in the world for Fu Manchu. He took it home for Sacramento. Okay. Two times. Woo! Look at him. Um, where's your beer? Oh, 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 look at that beer. Woo! Adrian's a new member of our uh, Modesto Beer and Mustache Coalition group here. And uh, how long have you been growing your beer? Four years? Four years. All right, let's see. Um, how about we go with number 33, Blaine? Yeah! Blaine is from our Sacramento crew. I really appreciate the Sacramento crew coming down the course tonight. Yeah. All right, Blaine, how long have you been growing your beard? I honestly have no idea how long you've been growing your beard. Yeah. Yeah, I'm speechless. I'm sorry. He's got a really great beard. Matt, number 22. Uh, so, what club are we from? Sacramento. Sacramento. Look, another Sacramento member. That's great. How long have you been growing your beard? Oh, three or four years. Three or four years. Huh? He cuts it a lot. He trims a lot. And not but least, let's bring up John, number 42, to the stage. This mustache is like yours. Look at that. Come on. I can hear better than that. All right, John, how long have you been growing your beard? Yeah, it's been about five years. Do you hear you part of any clubs? No, sir. <laughs> Look at that, an independent beard, though. All right, our next contestant is number 21, Jesse. How are you doing tonight, buddy? I'm doing wonderful. How are you doing? Jesse! Not too bad. Whoa. I take it you're from Sacramento. I'm from Sacramento, MSBC. What's up? Yeah. Boys. My boys? All right. So right now we're going to have the freestylers come out. What? All right. Uh, let's see. The first ca person in the category is, I think it's, it's, I think it's, I think it's number 30, Dawn. Yeah. Let's hear about it. Let's hear that. Look at that badass freestyle. Holy crap. I've been watching him put this together all day. It's taking some time. So, in about cumulative time, I know we've had some breaks here and there. How long would you say it took you to put that together? Probably about three, three and a half hours. Three and a half hours of his time to do this. To come out here and for donations and charity. That's amazing. Three and a half hours. Yeah! Our next contestant is um, somebody you've already seen on stage, and I don't know if you can remember a few minutes ago. His beard was not styled. Number 34, Chris. Look at that. He did that in 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Why? Because he wanted to spend another $10 for more charity. $10 is another $10, another $10, every 10 bucks helps. Every dollar helps. Every dollar helps. He's right. You're right. Every dollar does help. Last but not least, somebody I consider a good brother of mine from the Fresno crew. Number 47, Joe! I think he's blushing. All right, come over here. Come, on. come over here. Come over here with me. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Yeah, yeah, right here. So I don't hit my mohawk again because I'm, I'm stabbing everything. 
I'm six foot six, it's kind of hard. Hold on a second. So, so um, not not because everybody can see out there, because it's all of us. I mean, what is that? Like, babe? Does this help? Does this help see what it is? Does everybody know what that is? If you don't, it's the trophies that we're giving away tonight. Speaking of Sacramento, Blaine from the Sacramento Club has a couple words. Blaine? Thank you for your patient with me. Sorry, I was uh, <clears throat> indulging in an adult beverage. How's everybody tonight? Yeah! I'm not going to settle for that one bit. That was weak. And most of my guys are outside, also. You guys in a beer team? Yeah. That's, all, that's why we're all here, right? That's why we're all here. So, check it out. The, the actually made me a guinea pig to put me up here. Uh, we have a competition coming up. Uh, what's the date, guys? April 21st, right? I am part of the Sacramento Beard and Mustache Club. If you're into what we're doing, we raise a lot of money for charity. It's all for a good cause. Uh, and for fun, right? You guys like cars. Uh, Northern California, too. Come see the sights. Come check out Sacramento. All that stuff, right? Come see us. MBSC. All right, anyways, uh, I think we're, it's about time to bring our cha charity up on stage. And uh, let's, just, let's just do it. Bikers Against Child Abuse, uh, President here, and uh, he's going to talk about his their charity. Hello, I'm Ratchet with Bikers Against Child Abuse. What we do is empower children to not be afraid of the world in which they live. We make them part of our family. Um, we bring them in, we go to court with them, we visit them when they need it, we will camp out in the front yard if necessary to make them feel safe. So thank you guys all for your support. We appreciate it. We can't do what we do without you guys. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Thank you. Thanks guys, I really appreciate it. They do such a great job with the children in the area. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring the whisperinas back. If you're a uh, whispering in category, go ahead and line up over here and uh while I wait for everybody to get up here, I'm just gonna put a little bit of music in the background. Alright, let's bring our first whispering on the stage, number 29, Amanda. Look at that. Wow. How long did it take you to put that Modesto beard together? So this took a day, and that was just putting up the hair, putting it back together, and then sewing it together. And then this took about four hours. Four hours to construe that Modesto thing. We're talking about, yeah, 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 bring that, yeah, I want to hear that. Yeah. That's a lot of time and effort. Uh, number 36, Tina. <laughs> oh, look at that cute bunny. Tina, how long did it take you to make that cute little outfit? It took me about five hours over the course of my next Wow. That's so cute. All right, all right. Let's see, uh, number 39, Aaron. Oh, look at that, honey. Look at that, look at that. Beats, beats. Wow. That's kind of, that's different. You know? Last not, but not least, uh, number 48, Monica from Fresno. Oh my God, look at that beard. Oh, it's so cute. Take you to uh, get that all ready to go tonight. Um, I don't know. I put a couple of in the costume and getting my facial hair glued on just right. And I don't know. If I would have tugged somebody's guy's hairs, they would have probably hit me in the face for tugging it that hard. But well, Terry's one of our new members of our Manesta Beard Mustache Coalition. Why don't you give it up for Terry? Oh man, that thing might be a little sharp. But it might deliver sort of. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, how long have you been growing that lovely beard of yours? Uh, I'm gonna say just maybe about a year or so. About a year. That's, that's pretty impressive for a year. 
beard was this long, and my wife got mad, so I cut it to two. And she said it wasn't short enough. I said, you know what? I'm going it long again. So, she shouldn't have been your wife. It's called the No Shave Life. Learn it. Okay, uh, we're going to go with our next contestant, number seven, Jeffrey. Well, Jeffrey, how long have you been growing that beard? Uh, it's about three and a half years. Three and a half years. Look at that majestic beard. I mean, look at that. Three and a half years. Yeah, that's why I stood down here. Because I cut entire head of things with my spikes. They suck. Anyways, um, Justin, so um, how long have you been in what club? MBSU Sacramento! And the second part of that question, how long have you been in there? How long have you been in the Sacramento Club? Less than a year? Less than a year. And look how committed he is. He's already going to a lot of competitions. Who's that number 11? Or number 12? So I'm looking for number 12, Josh. Josh, so, um... You know how hard it is to chug and talk at the same time? If you don't think it's that hard, I'd like to see you do it out in the parking lot later with, like, just water, because, I mean, that should be easy enough as it is. Beer's even harder. So, anyways, um, so, how long have you been growing that beer? Uh, since September. <laughs> Since September, so that's October, November, December. So we're looking at six months. Six months? That's pretty impressive. I like that. That's a nice brew of beer. What do you guys think? Yeah. Right. All right, coming number 27, John to this day. Yeah. Oh. Wow. I kind of want to say your highness, but I don't know if that's not right. So that's never going to happen. So, uh, you can keep putting it there, but it's not gonna happen. So, how long have you been growing your beard? Just over three years. This is a three year beard. Uh, where are you from? Sacramento, NBSC. Another Sacramento. Oh, look, look, oh, 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 oh. I, I'm not hearing any noises. These people pay us to their money and their time. I don't want to hear the noise. Alright, Brandon, where did you come from? I drove all the way out from Long Beach, California, representing GSCLA. I don't know if I'm doing my nose out, that's like a seven hour drive, maybe eight. I want to have a list of chapter numbers. What are you 
going first. I'm going first. With my Bethesda mustache. You're amazing. I love you. Okay, I need three to six inches, number 41, 12, and 23. God damn. For the three to six inch category. All right. So in third place, we have number 27. In second place, number 41. And in first place, number 12. Number 28. In second place, number 43. Time of the comp, so I got first. She got first. Ha! I got third. Lord loser. We got Lando, so we're the winners then. <laughs> Until next time, everybody. Take care. <laughs>